located in the Atlantic Ocean, about 1000 km southwest of Portuguese mainland, one of the two autonomous regions of Portugal, Madeira is an island sculpted by raw forces of nature. The island's volcanic origins dating back millions of years have created a dramatic landscape. Marked by striking rock formations, craggy peaks and towering cliffs that plunge into deep blue sea, offering unparalleled views from virtually any vantage point on the island. Spanning just over 300 square miles, Madeira is bordered by a continuous coastline that stretches 150 kilometers. Its volcanic origins have also gifted the island with rich biodiversity, including endemic flora and fauna. The earliest settlers were Portuguese sailors who discovered this land in the early 15th century. Agriculture has long been a central economic activity due to the island's fertile volcanic soil, alongside fishing, handicrafts and wine exports. In recent years, tourism has been increasing steadily. Madeira is a gem of natural beauty and unbelievable landscapes. Due to its compact size, just about 55 kilometers from east to west and 22 kilometers from north to south, every corner of the island is easily accessible, allowing visitors to explore its wealth of natural wonders. Although the entire island of Madeira is unique, in this video we will focus on some of the main attractions. Fanchal is the capital of Madeira. I have made a detailed video about things to do in Fanchal. You will find the link on top here and also in the description box. Porto Moniz, located on Madeira's northern coast, is known for its natural volcanic saltwater swimming pools, which are amongst the island's most spectacular wonders. The cooling and hardening of lava over millennia has created natural walls of rock formations that frame these pools. The relentless action of Atlantic waves has carved these natural pools as we see them today. The pools fill up with refreshing Atlantic water. They offer visitors a chance to swim in a setting with a long geological history and also provide protection from the fierce waves of the ocean. The colors of the Atlantic sometimes look unreal. Portomoni is also features a rugged coastline steep cliffs and striking rock formations jutting out of the ocean, contributing to this unusual landscape. Porto Moniz is well equipped with facilities, including parking and local eateries, ensuring a comfortable visit to this coastal gem.
Seychelles Beach, also located on Madeira's northern coast, is an example of island's natural beauty. Known for its distinctive black volcanic sand, the beach offers a dramatic contrast against the blue ocean and verdant hills. The clear waters are inviting for a refreshing swim, although it can be occasionally rough, which makes it ideal for surfers. Seychelles Beach is set in picturesque and tranquil surroundings. It is also an excellent spot to see striking rock formations. The raw power of the ocean is palpable here. Few scenes from the latest Star Wars series were filmed at Seychelles Beach. A waterfall directly flows into the ocean. There is a pool at Seychelles Beach, also formed naturally by surrounding rocks, and the water within the pool is much calmer. Ribera da Janela is a lookout point along the coastal road, just minutes from Porto Moniz. Peculiar rock formations rising from the ocean make it an excellent place for photography and enjoying nature's artistry. Some scenes from the latest Star Wars series were also filmed at Ribera da Janela. Fanal a lorisilva forest and another natural wonder is located in the highlands of Madeira and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A scenic mountain road leads to Fanal Forest, which represents a rare and ancient subtropical ecosystem once widespread in this region, but now confined to a few isolated locations, Madeira being one of them. The history of the forest dates back about 20 million years and that makes it an invaluable environmental heritage. The forest is often covered in mist, which makes you feel you are in a movie set of a mysterious film. On a clear day, one can see breathtaking views from this point, which I could not, despite making two trips to the forest. Nonetheless, foggy weather in Fanal was a unique experience. The cool and humid climate of Fanal sustains sub-ecosystems and microhabitats. It is also a grazing ground for cows. The forest is home to many endemic bird and plant species. Fanal Forest has also been the location for filming the latest series of Star Wars. Jardim Domar Located on the southwestern coast of Madeira is a serene settlement, perfect for those seeking a peaceful retreat on the island. Nestled between high cliffs and the Atlantic Ocean, with banana plantations dotting the landscape, this gem exudes a true island atmosphere. There is no extensive to-do list here. Just strolling around and soaking in tranquil surroundings is the main attraction. Music 
The village is really small but very picturesque. Narrow cobblestone streets complement the quaint houses. It would take just about an hour to walk through the entire village, although some parts involve steep climbs. There are a few nature trails and hikes that start from this village. A spectacular view of the settlement's red tile roofs can be enjoyed after climbing about 500 meters up a steep path. A few cozy cafes and restaurants serve food and drinks. The colors of the Atlantic look unbelievable. The ocean looks serene and calm right now, but this area is also a favorite for surfing when the waves are high. Cabo Girao is one of the iconic landmarks on Madeira Island. It is known for being one of the highest cliffs in Europe, rising approximately 580 meters above the ocean. The main attraction at Cabo Girao is its glass skywalk that allows visitors to look down vertically through the glass floor. The viewpoint offers some stunning vistas of the ocean, surrounding coastline and lush landscape of Madeira. Colors of the surface of the ocean keep changing according to clouds cover in the sky. Miraduro do Gindaste is another viewpoint with a glass bottom platform near the town of Santana. The name Gindaste means crane in Portuguese. The viewpoint is named after crane-like shape of the land extending into the ocean. This is a great viewpoint to experience the island's unique geological features and take in the breathtaking vistas. These were a few main locations in Madeira. The island's geography has many more wonders to offer. There are some places where water cascades down the mountains and falls on the road, making an unexpected waterfall. Madeira is a haven for hikers, offering a wealth of trails to explore. During my stay, I completed two hikes, the challenging Pico to Pico and the Sao Lorenzo, with a different terrain from the rest of the island. You will find the links to these two hikes in the description box below. <coughs> there is still so much more left to explore on this beautiful and exotic island. <laughs> 